Well, you asked me for some more information about uh, the car and its condition. So I figured I was gonna do a, too close, a little video so I can really show you everything about it. I brought my little light here that I can really go inside and close and up and personal. That way you can really see. I'm gonna try and show you all the parts that you wanna check for when you wanna know how the condition of a car is. Okay, you'll see that all the sheet metal is really nice. That's the frame down there. It is very, very clean. And again, this is a 70 year old car, almost. It's impossible for her to be perfect. She will never be perfect, but this is probably as close as you can get unless you do a completely new car from scratch. So I'm sure we will find eventually a little bit of sign of superficial rust somewhere, but there's not gonna be anything bad. Um, you wanted to see the trunk. I already opened it up for you. Uh, it's a little close to the wall, so I can't open it more than this. And this doesn't really, it's all finished, so I can't lift it. But you can see, not too much. This is the, the floor. Um, this is you know, all finished and it's all glued in, so I can't really lift it. We'll have to look at it from underneath. But I just wanted to get a little glimpse of the interior. I love the ribbed roof. This is such a cool car. Perfect to go out on a little trip. And Darth Vader says hi. <laughs> Let's get under here. Oh yeah, she's pretty. Okay. Frame. And, oh, th this is what I'm talking about. You see this stuff here? Let me get in focus. There we go. Like, not too much. That is just superficial rust. That. See? Can you repaint it? Yes. Will it look again the same in a very short time? Yes. So, it's under the car. It's not, it's not an issue. You see the frame rail? Floorboards are really nice. You can actually you can still see the original color. Uh, you can see that very well. Frame rail. It's, I mean, it's not super clean. You can make it cleaner. You know what I mean? I mean, see? Oh, it's clean. Do you want to do that? I've never done that on any of my car. But that's up to you. Okay. No cancer, no rust. The rear. I uh, can't really see it. Let's look at this one instead. All stainless steel, new bolts. It's nicely done, man. No. Let's go to the side. <clears throat> yeah, she has uh, brand new tires. Okay. okay. See, oh, the perfect example. This. Let's see. This is just a. It looks bad, but this is really just. Oh, come on. There we go. Just the paint, the black paint that is lifted. And underneath there's exposed metal that is, you know. Does it look like rust? Yes. Is it bad? No. Perfect example. But as you can see, let me go a little bit further back there for the frame. Absolutely nice. The floors. There we go. Very nice. Very solid. I like what I see. I've never been under this car before. Not this much in detail. The floor, the uh, rocker panels, you know, it has the correct 
little vents here so that any water that gets trapped in can go out. And again, is, could, could you clean it better? Where are you? Here. See? But again, you'll drive it once and it's gonna be dirty again. So that doesn't make sense unless you're absolutely hell-bent on having the cleanest car out there. I have customers that clean the underneath of the car with a toothbrush. <laughs> you know, there's no limit to what you can do. Is there inner fender? Very nice. But bottom line is, it's a very original, very well-built Nomad. Let me close the hood for you so you can see it. You know, it's beauty. It's a gorgeous looking car. These are very collectible. That you'd never see them around. Even in the United States, you never see nomads around. I think the 55 is the best looking one. It's, uh, I just love this rear end. Let me close it. Oh, I, well, I have only one hand. I can't. Hold on. How do you... I honestly don't know how to close it. <laughs> I would think you just go up. Ah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, I learned something new. I didn't know that you could um, block it like that. That was not supposed to happen. There we go. That is a good looking car, man. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything more you would want to know, just ask. I'll send you more video, more pictures, more information. But I think we went through everything. We went through the engine bay. We went through uh, the trunk, the underneath of the car, the interior. It's, uh, it's a fun little car. I've driven this car before. I love it. I hope it would be great for it to find a good home. And I'm from Italy, so I know the uh, scene in Europe. Um, this would be a great car to have. I don't think I've ever seen one, or I don't know of anyone in Europe, although I'm sure there's someone that has them, but it's not a very common car. It's not your average Mustang. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Talk to you soon.